Imagine setting the intention for what you want in your life, taking action, seeing the opportunity appear in your life, and loving the results. I've got a secret to share with you today, and I know when I tell you, you're going to say, I had no idea it was that simple to create something in my life. Hi, it's Camden, and welcome to my video today. I know what you're thinking. It can't be that simple to just create what I want in my life. I'm here to tell you it is that simple, and if it's complicated or dramatic, you've got to stop controlling and loosen up on the reins. In this video, I'm going to share four steps that will transform the way you live your life and work on your business. These steps will literally supercharge you from the inside out, and you'll wonder why you haven't been following them all along. But first, I've got a confession. I'm a recovered controller. Now, I can laugh at it now, but growing up as someone who needed to control everything in my life was exhausting, frightening, and unfulfilling. Because of abuse I experienced in my life, I believed to feel safe, I needed to control my environment, my eating, my relationships, really everything. I had a control obsession because of my fear, and I didn't trust anyone. What I realized was that I didn't trust myself either. When my husband and I had our girls, I realized how serious my controlling issue had become. I had to change this or it was going to take me down, ruin my marriage, and I would pass it on to our children. I remember going away for a weekend with a girlfriend and leaving our daughter Lily with my husband Luke. It was so hard not to be there and tell him every little thing that I thought he needed to do to take care of Lily. We survived and actually we thrived because when they picked me up at the airport, I saw the bond they had formed together when I was away. I was teary and so happy. It was a big deal for me to let go and trust. It wasn't just trusting Luke, it was trusting myself and trusting that I had to let go of what I had no control over and that whatever happened, it would all be okay. Have you found yourself in similar controlling moments where you feel the need to be in charge of everything? I see it everywhere in our society today. We can control our house with our iPads, we can check in on our kids every second of the day with our cell phones, and we can see the news as it's happening. Has this pushed us more into a fear-based society where we feel the need to control every single aspect of our lives to feel safe and to even feel valued? As a huge example that really pushes my buttons is so many women choosing to have C-sections so they can know exactly when it's going to happen and it's on the calendar. Where's the surprise? Since the 1990s, C-sections have become the most common operating procedure in the United States. Granted, some are needed, but the number of C-sections performed in the U.S. has risen from 5% in 1970 to over 32% as of 2007. We as women have to wake up, let go of the white knuckle grasp of control. I know you know what I'm talking about. What would you let go of that would open space in your life for more creativity to attract the experiences you want in your life? Imagine if your good friend gave you a gift and you gave it back unopened. That's exactly what you're doing when you completely take over a situation. You're saying, it's my way or the highway. What if there was another perspective? Now, there is a way to step into a life you design and enjoy the gifts. All it takes is loosening your grip and starting with some baby steps and building up your manifesting muscle. As promised, here are four simple steps to creating a life you love. Number one, set your intention. What do you want and what would it feel like to already have it in your life? Number two, visualize it and feel it. Write it down and surrender it. Don't feel like you have to make it happen. Act as if it's already happened and let your feelings magnetize the opportunities to you and step into action then. Number three, be aware. Watch when what you set as your intention lands in your life. It may not be packaged the way you thought it would, but opportunities come in many forms. Be ready to respond and to act. And number four, the big one, take the leap. Say yes to what you asked for and follow through with steps to implement. Now here's the secret I promised. It's important to take action and it's equally important not to obsess and control every detail. Your desired intention may very well come to you in another plan instead of your own plan. Don't have tunnel vision. 
listen with your eyes, your heart, your ears, your skin, and knowing that you are attracting your intention because it's already in your soul. It's not a goal that you're chasing out here. It's born from you and therefore already within you. Here's a short video that's going to imprint these four simple steps so you know exactly what to do, how to let go, and how to take the big leap. It's short, simple, effective, and to the point. Okay, so there's a little humor here with our dog Mick, but you get the point, take the leap. Set your intention, be present, listen for the answer, it's already yours, and you're simply manifesting it in the outside world. Now, I invite you now, join me as a recovered controller and live the life you really love. It will be so worth it to have the clarity to create whatever you want in your life and business, I promise. Thanks so much for joining me, and please share in the comment section what you loved about this video, what you learned, and what you see yourself being able to create in your life with these four easy steps. So join me as a recovered controller and see how your life will change and be even more fulfilling than you imagined. Thank you so much for watching and I'll definitely see you soon.